Today it's a special day, special day for all of us, not just for the Kerala Blasters fans, not just for the Mohan Bagan fans, not just for the Indian football fans, but of course, a very, very special day for Digital Ideas. We are opening our first live on our YouTube channel, Digital Ideas, and that too with someone who is admired by each and everyone after a fantastic season with Mohan Bagan in the Hero I League. None other. And the great man, and we'll be definitely showing something about him. Matches after matches, tests after tests, he was remarkable. He showed why a coach, a gaffer, is so important for the success of a team. Let's check out a teaser for building up this wonderful, wonderful live show. What a moment! This is sensational! This is outstanding! This is magnificent! The 1,899 hours! Exactly 1,745 days! And here comes the moment of Pauli on the bench! Here comes the moment of becoming the champions for the second time! Dibu Viguna! You are a hero! The Dronacharya behind the success! Hello and welcome to the official uh, YouTube channel and Facebook page of Digital Ideas. Today we are joined by someone really, really special. Someone who is known to all. Someone who has made his name for himself after a remarkable season and on his way to the God's own country. One of the remarkable football clubs, clubs across the globe, Kerala Blasters. Welcome Kibu Vikuna on the official Facebook page of Digital Ideas. Hello. Good afternoon here in uh, in Europe. <laughs> good evening. Good evening in in India. Hello, everybody. Hope you're, hope you're safe. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, sure, uh, we we are uh, we are living very difficult days in all over the world. Uh, I know that in India the situation is uh, is very hard. So uh, all the best. I wish you all the best. For sure, you will you will overcome these difficulties. And, um, and yes, in, in Europe, uh, we are now in, in a better condition, but we, we had uh, also very, very hard days. Absolutely. I'm joined by uh, Ronak Majumda. Ronak is a budding young journalist and he's doing well. Ronak, uh, first of all, uh, welcome to you as well. Uh, Thank you. So this, is, this is, so this is massive. This, yes, this is massive for all the Kerala Blasters fans who are watching this show. To all the Mohan Bagan fans, his Bengal fans who are watching this show, welcome to the show. A lot of people are watching this. They'll be throwing questions for you. But first of all, my question to you, Kibu, after a remarkable season with uh, Mohan Bagan, now you're on your way to your first ISL venture. Kerala Blasters, how special is this for you? No, it's, it's, uh, it's very special. It's very special. I was uh, very happy in, in Kolkata. Uh, my time in Kolkata was fantastic. Um, thank you very much to, to Mohun Bagan to, to give me this opportunity to train, to train in, in, in India. And now we are taking uh, our way in, uh, in Kerala Blasters uh, with a lot of energy. Um, we are we are very, very happy to, to join uh, Kerala Blasters, to join uh, a, very, a very good team. Now, it's true that it's a, it's a time of uncertainty because uh, with, this, uh, with this pandemic, there is an, an uncertainty also in football in all over the world. But we are, we are uh, working to, to create and to build a, a, a good team in order to, to get good, good results in, in Kerala Blasters. Fantastic. Ronak, do you have your first question? Right. First of all, before we begin, uh, let me tell you, sir, it's an absolute honor to be joined by you. Thank you so much for sparing your time. So as we start, uh, my first question is, uh, you have been a part of Indian football for more than a year now. So what are the key takeaways for you until now? Sorry, could you repeat? I, I, I couldn't I couldn't hear you the, la the last part of the of the of the question. Right, right. I'll repeat again. So uh, you have been a part of Indian football for more than a year now. So what are the key takeaways for you until now? That how is Indian football, and what are the key takeaways from your side? 
Okay, uh, for me uh, to I learned a lot uh, in India in the last, uh, last season. Uh, for me, was a, a very big challenge. Um, one of the best the, the best things that I, I learned in in India was the that uh, we can uh, we can play the teams can play good football uh, with uh, with uh, with the Indian players with foreign players and uh, you can uh, you can create a, a a good team and a strong team even a even a family you know working working together and uh, and this is the this is the point that uh, we are going to try to create a, as well in in Kerala. Uh, Every team is complete is, is, is different. Uh, we are going to, to create a, our model in Kerala. Perhaps uh, uh, we will we will have similarities with the last one. Perhaps not. This is going to depend of um, the players we will have, um, the competition. But of course, uh, we have uh, every every coach has his own idea. Now our idea of uh, of football is uh, to be a proactive team, to be a an attacking team, and uh, we will we we will to create our own our normal style in, in Kerala Blaster for 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 next for for next season. Fantastic. We are having a lot of questions, uh, Kibu. I will be definitely taking those questions. Uh, first of all, we'd like to see the first question on the screen from the fans. Let's uh, find out because I mean there are there are in numbers. Miganko Inverno. He has a question. All the best to you, sir, sir, in the ISL. What is you, Mohan Bagan versus Kerala Blasters in the ISL final? What's your take on that? Okay, I sign. <laughs> yes, it, <laughs> it means that that we will be in the final and uh, it, 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 it will be fantastic. It will be fantastic for, for both teams to be, to be in the final. So, uh, uh, thank you very much for the question and I agree with you. Uh, <laughs> I will. I, I, I would like to, to play the final. I wish with with Mohun Bagan. Very good for both teams. Fantastic. My next question will definitely uh, be from Ronak. Ronak, uh, your next question. Right. So, uh, talking about the past season, you had a proper pre-season uh, before starting the I League. That is, you played the Durand Cup, you played the Calcutta League, then you played the I League. So. The team had a fair bit of chance to understand your style of play, get to know you better, and you had a time, you had your time to bond better with the team. So now, as it seems in this season, we mostly, uh, most likely, the season will start immediately uh, before uh, not having a preseason. So, is it going to have an effect on the team bonding? Okay, you you are right. Uh, for us, it was very important uh, to play the Calcutta League. The Durand Cup, also the this uh, Sheikh Kamal, uh, Kamal tournament in uh, in Bangladesh, for us was very important in order to to prepare prepare the I League. That uh, the I League was our main objective. Uh, uh, it was time for 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 me and for for uh, for the for the club and the coaching staff to to create our style to to understand. The, the, um, the level of the of the team to to also to know to know the players to know the team and uh, we will we we were uh, working together three four months now we don't know in this moment when we can uh, we, we can start the the preseason um, but we will we will handle with the situation I mean uh, that's why we are we are uh, we we already started working with the team with tactical tactical meetings with the team it's not the same to, to work in the in the field but uh, we will handle we will handle with the situation great okay next question will certainly be from the fans i'd be taking the quick question from the fans on the screen uh, sports today has a question will marcelino come to kerala blasters he too has a very good fan following i don't know <laughs> to be honest, I I don't know. You have to know. I can I can talk about 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 players about about transfers because uh, you know the sporting director, the club is working, trying to get the best the, the best team possible with this uh, new situation. Uh, but I can I cannot talk about 
about uh, about players. No, for example, I know that Martelinho is a good player, but we have uh, also other players. But I don't know if he's going to be left to play with us or not. I cannot I cannot say anything about it. I have a question to you. You have seen the fans here in Kolkata in the last season, and they were remarkable. And you were a hero, actually. I mean, when when I uh, had the last match on the commentary box. I shouted that. I mean, Kibu Vikuna, you are a hero. And we have all seen that on the teaser as well. Now you'll be playing another special brand of fans, the Kerala fans. fans. In fact, they are they're remarkable. I and mean, Kerala is known for their football uh, passion, their fans. Uh, whether the team is losing or winning, uh, they will always stand by their team. Are you excited about it? Yes. Uh, Kerala Blasters have a fantastic... Uh, fan base is, uh, is uh, amazing how how they are uh, they are uh, supporting the team i tell you one thing last last week i think i was i was talking with uh, a former player i trained in osasuna he was playing this season last season in bengaluru and then in odisha manu manu on striker and uh, he was scoring, I think he scored seven goals in Odisha last season. And he told me that uh, for him it was amazing to play against Kerala Blasters because uh, even when they, they are playing at home, uh, there were more supporters of uh, Kerala Blasters than, uh, than his uh, own team. No? And uh, for him it was, was, was fantastic. And for us... Also, it's a very good point. I, I always say that uh, Kerala Blasters fans base is the, the, the player number 12. No, and, uh, and, uh, and for, for the team, for the club, it's, it's very important. Uh, we need them. Uh, it's a very, very important part of the, of the club. Uh, we don't know. Hopefully, we could, uh, we could, uh, we could play with, with fans, but... Uh, but we don't know if we are going to play with closed doors, closed doors or not. Because <clears throat> last information that perhaps we are going to play in closed doors. But anyway, I'm sure that they are going to support us, even if we are, if they are not uh, able to to come to to watch the game, the game. So for us, it's a it's a very important, very important part the uh, the supporters of Kerala Blasters. Absolutely. I mean, those fans. Uh... All across the country or watching this show, just just don't forget to push the subscribe button to subscribe the shows because we are coming live uh, on the YouTube as well. Uh, the next question will definitely be from the uh, uh, from the fans. Actually, I'll be taking the question on the screen. Vishnu G has a question: What is your preparation for preseason? How do you join the foreign players and Indian players together? Very very good question. Yes, very important question, no? Because in the our first plan was to to start the precision in the middle of August, but in this moment is uh, most probably is not going to be possible. Now we are thinking to if it's possible to join uh, to to start the trainings in in September at the beginning of September, but still we are not sure that we could uh, we could we could do it, no? Uh, next Monday, uh, ISL and the, and the club they have a they have a meeting. Probably we will have we have more information. Uh, what is important is that uh, when when the, the the country, the India, is going to be open and there will be uh, uh, flights from from Europe to to India as soon as possible. We will we will travel to to. To India to, to start. No? Now what what we can do is to what we are doing is uh, in physical terms the the, the physical coach Paulus Ragauskas is uh, is preparing uh, different plans to the to the players to start the physical the physical condition uh, every two weeks they are, uh, he is changing the plan. Also we we already had uh, six uh, seven meetings tactical meetings with the. With the with the players into groups in order to to familiarize the, the the team with the with our our football style and also we are we are taking individual conversations with the with the with the players in order to 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 talk with them to know to know better about uh, about them and. At this moment is the what what we can do, no? But but uh, we are 
we are uh, we like very much to travel to India in order to to start, no? Because it's our work. Is this this situation is very difficult because last time they play is in March, no? It's already we are we are now in the middle of July, so it's not normal also that the players uh, are, uh, you know, for, uh, without without practicing with the team for five months, no? It's going to be it's going to be more difficult to to start and more difficult to 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 find the the, the good condition for them. The next question, I think you'd be very much happy to know that you're one of the favorite students, Sheikh Sahil, uh, who was a revelation last season, has uh, passed in the high secondary exam today. So he has done remarkably well on uh, the education part as well. So what what's your take on that? He's a fantastic boy. Uh, Sheikh Sahil is a fantastic boy. I'm very, very happy, very happy that uh, he's, uh, he's studying because also I told, I, I told him that it's, it's, going to, it's going to be very important for him, for his life, no? uh, to continue studying. I also told him that he, he, should, uh, he should learn English because he's, he's, going, he's going to be important in his in his football career and uh, I, my advice to, to him is that he can he can be a professional player and also continue studying and it's going to be for him very 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 good and he's going to be a better person and better football, a, a better football player uh, for me this boy Sahil Subo uh, Kiyan uh, Deep Saha um, are very special because uh, they started with us the pre-season in Goa last season, and and uh, three of them they could they could uh, make uh, make his, uh, his debut in the in the in I League, and even uh, Sahil was very important in the team. He played almost all, all the games, and uh, and Subo also had a, a, a very important role, scoring three goals, and Kijan also make his debut. So I wish I wish them the best and perhaps hopefully in the future we can continue working together. Next question will definitely be from the fans. I would like to see who is there on the, on the screen. Goosebump has a question. So what is your point of view on Alejandro Menendez Garcia? I think Alejandro is a very good coach. He's a very good coach. Um, uh, he made uh, two seasons ago a very good season. Even this season, he started he started really well. For me, I always said that uh, uh, East Bengal and, and Gokul and Kerala were, the, in my opinion, the, the tougher contenders in the in the league. I I, I thought that um, at the beginning of the league that the most the best the best teams were uh, Mohumbagan, East Bengal, and and Gokul and Kerala. Also then. Uh, Pajab, also they, they play uh, Pajab FC, they play a, a good season but for me, Alejandro is a very good coach, uh, he did a very good role, a very good job two seasons ago, this season uh, they started very well even he was the best the best coach in December so and then uh, they had they had some some bad results and, and he resigned but, but uh, I, I think that uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, uh, sometimes you have good results, sometimes you have not very good results. But anyway, they were uh, they were fighting for the in that time when uh, Alejandro resigned. They were fighting for the for the league, and uh, I only can say that uh, we have a, a, a good relation. And I wish when he left uh, Kolkata, I I wish him the best in the future. Next question would be from Ronak. Ronak, right. So, uh, sir, after a very uh, good uh, start with Mohan Bagan, the previous season was great, to be honest. So, uh, why did you choose Kerala Blasters this season? And is there a particular vision which you will be working on, or is there a goal set by you that you want to achieve? Look, uh, I was uh, what I said. I, I, I was very, very happy in uh, in, uh, in Kolkata. But I, I realized with the, with the with the merger between ATK and uh, and Mokumbagan, 
uh, I had no place in in in, in the team because uh, they they already have the they already had the coach Antonio Lopez and also they won they won the the ISL so that means that both teams they won the league one one team ISL and the other one the other uh, and we won the the I league so uh, I don't I didn't to be honest I didn't when we finished the when we when we won the league. I was I was not thinking in continue because I had to to talk with my wife what we are going to do in the future and I I received some some calls from different clubs not only in India and other countries and but I was very happy in India for me it was a, a fantastic season also not not only in professional terms also in, in personal terms I was very very comfortable in, in your country with the people, with the with the with the team, with the players. So Kerala Blasters uh, contacted with me. Uh, I told with the sporting director, also with the uh, once we, we had a, 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 a video call with the with the management. I like what what they what they, they told me. They they offered me and and. Uh, and I take the challenge, very happy. And uh, now we have to do our best also in, in Kerala Blasters because it's a fantastic team, it's a fantastic club, and fantastic people, fantastic supporters. So it's another another very interesting challenge. I have a question. Thank for you. you. Uh, the team had a wonderful, wonderful success. More importantly, the reason behind the success in the previous season was the team Mohan Bagan. I have a question specifically on an individual player, Ashutosh Mehta. I mean, he was a revelation last year. And he's yet to sign for any club. We all know that you you always praised Ashutosh Mehta for his excellence. Can we see walking him uh, uh, with you together in, in Kerala Blasters in future? Asutos is a fantastic player. He's a very good, uh, very good player, and also you know, very reasonable guy, intelligent. Uh, when he's talking, he, when, when when he's speaking, he's he's telling also important things. So uh, for me, it's, uh, for sure in 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 I league the best the best right back and uh, one of the best in India. So uh, we will see what is going to happen in the future, no? But uh, for sure, Asutos Meta is going to be an important player in every team. He's he, in the team he's going to play. I don't know if he's going to play. To be honest, I don't know if he if he's going to play with Kerala Blasters or with other team. So we will see. But I, I wish him the best because he's a fantastic player, fantastic person. At an excellent professional. Next question will be there on the screen. I'd, I'd look at it. Who is there with the next question? Ajay Sabu has a question on YouTube. What uh, we all know that you use young players in Mohan Bagan. What will be your plans in Kerala Blasters FC with young players? Because Kerala Blasters has been developing a lot of young players in the last few seasons. That's a very good question. Thank you. Uh, so, thank you for the question. Yes. Uh, we already talked with the with the club, with the sporting director, with the people who is working in the in the club with the Yao system, and um, six seven players of the of the academy reserve team, the reserve team, and they are going even uh, one junior. They, they are going to to make uh, to to train uh, with us in the preseason, and we will see. If they they will have the chance to to show themselves with us and we will see if so if some of them they are they are continuing with the team with, with the whole season or, or or even even play it's going to it's going to depend on them i mean for me it's not important the the id I, for me it doesn't matter if one player has uh, 17 18 20 35 36 is uh, the most important if, if they they have the quality to play if they understand the game, if they if they are, if they, are they have they are hungry to to be professional players, so I always all make my career in all the teams I, I was we we gave opportunities to the young players, 
are hopefully some of them they are going to take advantage of these opportunities next question on screen i'd i'd uh, have a look at it uh, lot of questions are coming on uh, anantu prem has a question uh, suman please ask him uh, his opinion regarding the new foreign player policy made in the isl how will it help in developing young players well uh, i think for for the national coach and the and the indian indian uh, indian national team is going to be better because because is mathematics they are uh, the indian players they, they they will play more minutes and for them it's going to be important no the important thing is that uh, the level of the of the of the game the level of the matches will be the same or even better no but i think that uh, indian players are uh, are improving are growing and they are going they are going to be better in the in the in the future and for for us for us as a coaches is is going to be is going to be the same because uh, it's, it's uh, only a question of uh, of rules i mean now let next season 6 plus 1 in two season 3 plus 1 uh, but we are going to play with 11 players there's a lot of people are watching on youtube as well please a suggestion for them just do subscribe the youtube channel we'll have uh, amazing interactions throughout the isls as well uh but kibu i have a next question from the fans itself because we are getting a uh, a lot of questions from them as i mentioned next okay. question on the screen next question on the screen is uh, ahmed ali has a question on youtube what are the academic expectations for players in youtube what that means uh, he's he's asking about the players, the players the players of the academy yes he is about the technical qualities a uh, technical qualities of uh, of the players uh, for me for, for our style of game is is very important more more the tactical qualities than the technical qualities it's true that technical qualities are uh, if you are tactically a good player but you are you are not very good technically it's very difficult to be a, a tactically very well because you be very good player because you, you need the first touch you need the the good passes but also it's very important for us for example uh, to play without the ball i mean uh, to to play between lines to to try to get the back of the of the defensive line who is making pre- who is who is pressing you for us is it's, it's very important first touch uh, passes but not only passes is the quality to 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 make a pass through uh, but the tactical the tactical knowledge of the of the game no the one to the third man uh, to create numerical superiorities to play this positional attack no to play in different in, in different positions to, the team has to travel together to be to be close when we are when we are uh, losing the ball in the opponent half this uh, this aspect that they are more tactical than technical no but uh, what i said is is important no? technical without tactical is not good but also tactical without technical is also very difficult both aspects are, yes. are going to get sorry uh, you have seen the fans culture here in kolkata i mean we all know about the fans culture over there in kerala the majapara fans are famous in across the globe so what about your uh, message to them during this time and when the teams should be playing on the pitch they might not be allowed over there on the ground uh, to cheer for your team as we have all seen that the euro gallery has been a has been a famous picture for the cop this time it might not be possible to defend them what to them you what sorry i couldn't i couldn't hear you the 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 question could you repeat please the question is the question is the yellow fans i mean the manjapara fans over there in in kerala they are okay. famous across the globe we all know that but this time around they might not be allowed to cheer for your team when when you be playing on the ground so they have to watch the games and cheer for you by watching it on the television so what's your message to them uh my message to them is that uh, 
anyway, if he, if if uh, we have to play in clo in closed doors, uh, unfortunately, I don't know, but it's, it's probably. Uh, but they are going to we are going to to feel the support of them because you know uh, you know in these uh, messages uh, they are sending us every time uh, in the media in the social networks uh, we are going to feel that they, that they, we are uh, they are with the, with us so we are going to do our uh, uh, to do our best and we will uh, we will feel uh, their support Anyway, uh, I always say that football is for is for the fans. Uh, we are uh, we are playing to the our, our objective is to uh, that the, the the supporters enjoy enjoy the the, the game and, and, and be proud of of of, of this team, no? And uh, is this situation is very difficult now. For example, in Spain, we are watching the games in in La Liga. And it's like a friendly game, you know. Uh, they are playing for the league, but uh, playing in a, in closed doors. Uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Real Sociedad, Sevilla. It's like they are playing, and they are playing for a very very important objectives. Objectives, but without uh, without supporters, it's like a different game. Yes, and we all love them. We love the Kerala football fans. My my next question would be from the fans itself. I uh, would like to see who is there on the screen. Next question. Hari Krishna Biju has a question. What formation would you like to implement at Kerala Blasters? Uh, to be honest, we are we are changing the the our formation. No? For example, last season we were playing with one four four two. We were playing one four three three. Uh, it depending it's depending of the players, depending of the match, uh, depending of, uh, you know, uh, what we are, uh, if, if, if we are, uh, depending the offensive phase, defensive phase, we can share, for example, uh, playing attack 1-4-3-3, uh, defending 1-4-4-2 in the same, in the same, in the same game. It's going, to, it's going to depend. We have our, our own ideas, but we are not this this uh, I'm not this coach, and we are not this coaching staff that we are playing with one, with one, uh, with one formation. No? Now, for example, uh, this uh, this time of, uh, of pandemic, I was uh, studying another another formations, watching the teams that they are they are playing fantastic in Europe. For example, Atalanta or or. Uh, or uh, Red Bull Leipzig that they are playing with three defenders and three four three three five two, and also they they have uh, they are playing fantastic football. No, so I think all, only the formation is a tool, only a tool. The most important thing is the style and your uh, your game model. Uh, next question would be on the screen. We'll have a look. Who is there? Right up there on the screen. Ajay Saab has a question, sir. You told that you have been following last year Kerala Blasters FC all the matches. As a coach, what do you think last year will lag if we keep away injuries as a side? Very good question. Yes, uh, I was uh, I was watching uh, the 18 ga the 18 games uh, of uh, Kerala Blasters last season. Uh, it's true. Also, I have conversations with uh, with people in the club and. For us, even with the players, no. For us, uh, for me, it's, uh, it was uh, one one important aspect: the the injuries of last season. I don't want to to have a, to make any opinion of uh, another staff, another another coach because it's not my style. But uh, what we are going to do is to, to prepare a good precision, to prepare a good uh, physical plan. Um, uh, to, to make a prevention before the trainings, prevention before the, the match in order to, to try to avoid the, the muscular injuries. And, uh, and uh, our, our plan is to, to prepare uh, to, play, uh, to play good football, I mean, to have a good uh, tactical team and also to be, uh, to be ready physically to to handle and to play the, the whole season 
without trying to avoid the injuries. No? All, also, always in the in the uh, unfortunately in football you have injuries, but it's true that last season the team uh, Gerardo Raster had too many too many hamstring injuries, and we have we have to to analyze why and try to avoid to avoid them. Next question will be from Ronak. Ronak. Right. So, uh, there are rumors that one of your finest strikers, that is Ogbeche, is rumored to be linked with uh, Mumbai City FC. So, how important is he for the team and what will he leaving mean to you? Okay. Uh, now is the, is the time for, for rumors and for, uh, you know, players that they are going in, they, they are going out. I cannot say anything about about any 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 of our players. We know that uh, Bart Beche played fantastic last uh, last season. He was he scored 15 goals. He was the the, the the top scorer, and we will see if he's going to play with us uh, next season or not. We, we will see in the future what is going on. I have a question, uh, Kibu. Uh, forget about the foreign players. Uh, one player has been a revelation the last few seasons. That is uh, Abdul Sahal. And Sahal is someone on whom Indian football fans are hoping that he would be the next superstar in Indian football. How excited are you to walk with Sahal? Uh, well... Uh... You are right. Uh, for me, it was uh, when I when I watched the games, I liked I liked his style, especially when he was playing inside. No, because also last season he was playing as winger. In my opinion, uh, he's he's a better player playing inside as number eight, number ten. He's a creative player. He 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 has he has the quality. He he has be, he's very very creative. Uh, very gifted uh, technically, he has the vision to to make a uh, last pass pass through. So, what we have to what we have to do is to create a scenario to to give him the opportunity to to get the his one hundred percent. No, we are very happy that he's uh, he's with us. He's, he's he's going to be an important player for the team. Also, he knows that he he can he can be better. He can improve. You know, for example, uh, the defensive pace of the game, for example, also to be more regular. But it's a it's a question of games. It's a question of time. And he, for sure, he wants to he wants to be better. And we will try to to help him and to help every player to get uh, his uh, every player can get. He's 100 percent. This is this is our job. But I'm very happy to to have uh, Sahal Samad in the team. Next question will be there on the screen from the fans. Let's see who is there. Todd Rambo has a question. So my question uh, is: Would you like uh, Ogbeche? Uh, okay, virtual. Hug. I mean, that is. Do you like Ogbeche? That's the question. If I like Ogbeche, of course, it's a. Yeah. Uh, He's a he's a fantastic player. He's a very good guy, and he has the leadership to 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 be a, an important player in, a, in in every team. Of course, I like him. You know? I uh, also we we in the meetings you see you can see that that he he's a remarkable player. Next question would be once again from the fans. Let's see who's there on the screen. A lot of questions. I mean, it's, it's Akshay Paul. Who is the uh, who is our playmaker for the next season? We have uh, we have different players, and also we will have uh, we will have other players because now yet we can we cannot say which players are going to be in the team. I mean, the foreign players that uh, we are thinking to be to be in the in the in the in the midfield line no um, in terms of indian players we have uh, we have uh, sahal uh, we have uh, 
sorry, but I cannot say I cannot say the players, the players. But you have to understand that uh, since uh, they are not uh, they are not going to be presented by the club, I cannot say too many information about about the players. Next question will also also from it's not, the screen. It's not, it's not easy for me to, to to because I can I cannot talk about uh, what I'm thinking. <laughs> Next question will also be on the screen from the fans. We'd like to see who's there. <clears throat> Walkie Talkies has a question. Walkie Talkies is his name. Hi Kibu, would you like to come back to Mohan Bagan in future? What's your views about Mohan Bagan? I mean, they love you. Okay. I'm very happy to to be in the Kerala Blasters. I now I'm focused in the in the in the next two seasons, and we will see what happen what happen in the future for sure. Uh, always I will have a very big sentiment with Mukumbagan. Next question will once again be from the fans. Like let's see who is there on the screen. Uh, it's Radha Krishnan M. What is the secret of the huge uh, set pieces last year in Mohan Bagan? I mean, in terms of success rate in the set pieces, he's asking. The players uh, working in the trainings and the players we had uh, have a very good uh, set piece set piece taker, no uh, set piece taker as uh, Joseba Beitia, and then. Uh, very important people in the air, no? both France, Fran Morante, Fran Gonzalez, Baba, eh, Daniel Cyrus, eh, eh, Suhair attacking the first post, eh, Julian Colinas or eh, Subo. So, so no, eh, that's that was important. And also, we were changing the, the set pieces in the whole season. No? So, not only we scored in I League, also we scored a lot of goals. I remember in Duran Cup with Salva Chamorro at the beginning, he scored a lot of goals with the head. Also in uh, in Calcutta League as well, uh, I remember goals from uh, uh, from Morante, from Gonzalez, uh, Salva, uh, uh, Julian Colinas as well. No? In Seik Samal also from Gonzalez, I think he scored two goals, he set pieces. Also in I League. So, working and uh, yes, and, and good players. Next question on the screen, we'd like to see who's there. It's like I have a lucky draw, so many questions are coming on. Uh, Radha Krishnan V has a question, Kibu, who are the real title contenders for ISL 2020-21? Of course, get out of last year's. I hope so. I hope so. Yes, yes. We are going. We are going to work to to be to try to to get very good results for us. Uh, the first the, the first idea is try to no, as, as I said to create a good team to try to play good football and if we if we can if we can do it. Uh, we will we will fight to get a place in the in the best four. For sure, ATK. Uh, Mumbai City, I think he's 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 creating a very good team. Bengaluru, FC Goa, Chennai Jin, uh, Finnish fantastic last season. But also we cannot forget about Jamshedpur, Hyderabad, uh, Northeast. Every team, every team in in ISL they has very very good level. Next question on the screen. We'd like to see who's there. Ah, next question on the screen, next question on the screen. Okay, Kotist has a question. What are your expectations next season? Are you keeping an eye on the title or you prefer to build a team? Superb question. Okay, uh, as, I, as I said before in the last question, uh, to create a team, to create a style, to create our own style as Kerala Blasters, uh, and play good football, and if we get it, but play good football is not only to play. I I, I, say, I can say uh, uh, play good football is to play well in defense and in attack, not only with the ball. This is to play good football and to be good in the transitions, no, in the four moments of the game. If we get it, we we are going to to work hard to get it. We will we will uh, be close to to 
to get good results. And for us, uh, after the last two seasons, it would be a, it would be very very good to to get a place in the in the best four. And then we will see. Next question on the screen. Once again, it's a kind of a uh, a, a fight going on between the fans. Who will be there on the screen? Let's see. Ah, Julius uh, one. He has a question. Uh, some main problem Kerala last season not had an attacking midfielder foreigner. Okay, foreign attacking midfielder is talking about. Can we expect one? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, I mean, I, I don't say yes that they, they had uh, in the last because to be honest, I don't know in the last three seasons, and I always respect every every opinion. Uh, of course, respect the players that they play in the in, in Kerala Blasters in the last three seasons. No. But uh, we will try to get a good, uh, a good uh, foreign attacking midfielder. Uh, of course, when Kibu Vikuna would be there on on on, on the dugouts of uh, Kerala Blasters, one player who had been absolutely meticulous in terms of performance last season would be definitely in there in the in the conversation as well. That is Joseba Betia. Uh, so he won't be there in ATK Mohan Bagan. Is there any opportunity for ATK or rather Kerala Blaster to sign Joseba Betia? What a sub sublime player. Uh, uh, for me, Joseba Betia is a fantastic player. Uh, I, I brought him to, to India, uh, to, to Mohun Bagan. He played, for me, he was the, the, best, the best player of the, of the team, the best player of the season, not only Mohun Bagan in the, in the I-League, so, as I told you before, we will see. We will see what happens. We will see. But, uh, but that uh, smiles is all. For me, for me, for me, is a fantastic player. Next question on the screen. We'd like to see who is there from the fans. Okay, Akhil R. Kumar has a question. KBFC made Sunday's Jingan as a big heroic defender. Like that, we will. Uh, will we make another young striker for the Indian national team? Uh, we will try. We will try. Uh, we will try. We will try to not only a striker. We have uh, a lot of young players. Uh, they are hungry to be to be a uh, very good players. To to be an important players in Indian football. No, we can say we have Jackson, uh, Raúl, uh, Naorem. Uh, Gibson, uh, you know, very, very important young players, in goalkeeper, even the goalkeeper Prasukan. So, players that they play in the under 17 uh, World Cup and they are now 19, 20, 20 years, they want to, 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 to be important in, the, in Indian football, in ISL. And uh, they, they and, and other players, they will have the opportunity to show to show themselves that they are they, they are going to be great players in Indian football. Next question on the screen. Let's see who's there. Let's see. A lot of questions. You keep firing questions. We'll be taking them them on the screen. Let's see who's there. Uh, so many questions. It's difficult for the team as well. Okay, hot on uh, Mothog and Samaresh Mighty. So, what is your expectation from Suba Ghosh and Sheikh Sahil? <laughs> uh, I wish them the the best because they are uh, the way they were they were training the whole season, the way they want to they are uh, listen to to not only to me to the whole staff. No, I remember the conversation with 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 Ranjan, with uh, with Thomas, with. Uh, Everybody and the way that they want to be professional players. No, you can see not only them, the, uh, Kiyan or Kiyan Asiri as well, uh, uh, this Saha. And I wish them the best. Uh, hopefully, in a season, they will have opportunities in, uh, in, in ISL. I hope so, because uh, Sahil could be a fantastic defensive midfielder. Because it's, uh, now, watching the games last season, 
I can say that even I see him play better than than uh, than I expected in the, uh, uh, when 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 we were working together, and uh, and Subo goes is special. Uh, he's a player uh, who who has the, the the most difficult thing is uh, that he's a goal scorer. He's a goal scorer. Uh, in his, uh, we can see, we can say that in his wall, he's fantastic. You try to to correct them too much tactically. I think it's not it's not good for him. But he has the most the most difficult thing that he's a goal scorer and he's very fast and he's very hungry to be a professional player. For sure, he's going to be a very good very good striker. And Shuba is very natural as well. Yes, 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 yes. It's very natural. It's a, I mean, uh, these these uh, two players and also Kijan, eh, because uh, because Kijan didn't play too much, but he's very fast. He can play. He's very versatile. He can he can play in different positions. He can be winger. I think I think in a team who is going to attack more than defend, he can be a fantastic right back. Fantastic right back because he has endurance. He's technically very well, very good. He's uh, very fast. He's uh, strong enough, uh, and he's very intelligent. He's very intelligent, Kijan. So he can be a very good player. Next question will be there on the screen. Let's see who's there. Let's see who puts up a question. Subin answers a question. Tell about the latest signing of Ritik Das from. Uh, Real Kashmir FC is a fantastic player. Yes, yes, he's a he's a player from from uh, from West Bengal as well. Um, he can play he can play in different positions. He can play in both with both wings. Also, he 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 prefers to play as offensive midfielder. He feels uh, he's creative player. He's technically gifted player. I think uh, in a team. In a team who who who, can, who who is going to play more pos, uh, positional attack, he's going to to be more comfortable than in a team that play more direct football as uh, as Real Kashmir. So I think uh, we will see in the precision, but I think he could be an important player for us. Next question on the screen. Let's see who comes up. Next question. Opu Chakravarti has a question on YouTube. Uh, you look like as a child, but if you on the if you are on the field, you look uh, like just boom and on your tactics. Uh, what's the secret of your energy? <laughs> Thank you that uh, that you uh, I look like as a, as a child. No? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, uh, the secret of my energy, my passion about, about uh, of football. I am a football passionate. Uh, I, I, uh, you know, I'm fighting for my dreams. I fighting for for what I want to to get in football, and uh, yes, in the you know, I need the field to to train, to to be to be happy. No, now I miss I miss the trainings, for example. I I need to be. In the field with my staff, my coaching staff, with the players, talking about football, try, trying to to give him, uh, give them advices to to be better players, uh, to to create our our football style. For me, it's my passion, so that's why perhaps I I have this energy. Next question would be from Ronak. Ronak, all right, after a long time, so. Uh... <laughs> Too many questions from the fans, so I can understand. Yeah. So what happened is uh, we have what we have seen is that we have played a very aggressive and attacking style of football in the past season, which has helped uh, youngsters like Nongdoma Naure, Mohan Bagan, and he has played under your guidance. So in Kerala, the, there are youngsters like Sahal and Yashikumar Das yesterday. So how are you going to implement your style of play with these players and? Uh, what is uh, your understanding of the national youngsters who are there in Kerala? How are they going to fit into your style and uh, how will you implement those styles with the youngsters? Okay. Uh, 
yes, you are right. We have a, a lot of young players now. Uh, we are going to have in, in Kerala, no? So they will have the opportunities to 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 play to show to show that they 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 want to play with the team to show that they they want to to be better players to to improve to even to try to get a chance to play in the Indian national team. Uh, we have to create the balance between the, these young players and also players with uh, with experience, no? But yes, uh, for me, I always like to to play with young players because I I think is uh, I can I can help them to 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 be better players, no? For example, for me, last season was fantastic to work with Naoren, with Subo, with uh, with uh, with Sahil. To try to 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 help them to to be better and to to start in professional football in this season uh, next season also is uh, we will have the opportunity to play with other uh, young players the players from the academy also the young players that they are already they are already in the team so I uh, as I told you before I want to I want to start to start as soon as possible to to train to train with them to to know them better. Uh, to to start to creating a, our our team, our style, our our, our football. Right, absolutely. Next question would be there from the fans. Let's see who's there. Let's see who's there. Shudip Tashashmal has a question. Can you talk about your playing style? Uh, I mean, is there any name? I mean, there are so many techniques, uh, modern day football like tiki taka and all. Do you have any special <laughs> name for it? <laughs> No, uh, po positional attack is the positional attack. That means that when you are attacking, every time is the, every, every player is taking uh, one position, and because of every every player, if is is in one concrete position, you can get uh, advantage of uh, football principles. No, the one two, the third man, numerical superiority in every in every part of the game, overlapping, uh, traveling together. Um, changing the switching the ball, the different different ten, the tactical tactical issues, but the, the but the name of the of the style is is not mine. It's, it's uh, I mean uh, a lot of teams they are playing in, in positional attack uh, attack game. That that it, it's different positional uh, positional game is not a question of formation. It's different. So it, there are different things you can play. You can you can play positional positional game with with uh, different formations. For example, Barcelona of, uh, of, of uh, Barcelona with with Guardiola, they were playing a positional positional uh, positional game with one four three three, and uh, Italia uh, Italian national team with Conte, they were playing positional game with one three five two. So it's a question of of the of the style of game rather than uh, than the, the formation. More than 2,500 questions already we have on YouTube. <laughs> wow. So that's massive. <laughs> we'll be taking the next question on the screen. Uh, let's see who's there. Okay, Sharafu KP has a question. Coach, do you prefer two foreign centre-backs or one foreign centre-back with one Indian centre-back next season? Uh, we will see. It's going to be. Uh, we will see which is the best combination. Which is the best the, the, the best combination? Some games could be two cent two foreign central defenders. Some games could be uh, one uh, one Indian central defender and one foreign central defender. Also, it's going to depend uh, of the level of the players. No, if we if, if we have one uh, in, in our team. A, a central, an Indian central defender that is performing really well, he will play. If not, it's, it's a question of the combination of the of the team, which is the which which we think is going to be the best combination for us. One thing uh, which I would like to add to Sharafu's yeah. uh, question is that that uh, Sandesh has led the, the back position for the last six seasons, and he has been a vital player in Kerala's defense. So now, since he has left. Who, according to you, is going to be his successor? Do you mean uh, central defenders? Yes. Yes. Since Sunday, Ingan has now left and he has led the team for the past six seasons. Who is going to be his successor, according to you? Uh, 
we will see. You know, uh, we have, uh, as I told, uh, we we will have uh, foreign players to play central defender. We have also uh, Abdul Haku, who, who was playing uh, last season. I remember uh, he he played a fantastic match against ATK in, in Kolkata. Uh, when uh, Kerala Blasters won 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 a ticket and he play a central defender and play a fantastic match. Uh, he's a player also that he wants to to improve. He wants to succeed and uh, and he he will he will have his opportunity and all, and also another players that uh, now I can I cannot say. So the next question would be there from the fans. Let's see who's there. Ah, Abhishek Krishna has a question. Where will be the preseason in uh, Kerala or somewhere else? I believe uh, in Kerala only. I think with 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 all with uh, with the current situation, I think that we we will we will do in Kerala or very close or very close to Kerala. No, we were thinking now in Kerala last season uh, with. Uh, my last thing with Mohumbagan, we we made it in Goa. We will see, but uh, now with the difficulties to travel, etc., I think uh, to do it in Kerala, uh, we have a lot of uh, a big uh, a big chance to to do it in Kerala, no? to do the precision in Kerala. Yes. Next question up on the screen. Let's see who's there. Next question. Anup K has a question. Have you seen Arjun Jairaj, or do you think you have plans for him? Hello. Uh, yes, uh, Arjun is uh, Arjun is with us. Uh, uh, he, he had an, an an important injury last season. Uh, he couldn't he, he, he couldn't play during during the season. He got an injury in the preseason last uh, last season. So uh, now uh, he's uh, he's uh, making his individual trainings and. Uh, and uh, he's going to be with us in the in the precision and hopefully he he's going to 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 get fit and to to, to be to be ready to help to to help the, the team during the season next question on the screen who's there we have to check ah Saurav Roy has a question we want Komran Tursanov in KBFC are you taking him Okonrom is a fantastic, uh, fantastic boy. He was very important last season uh, because he can play in different positions as well. No, he can play as winger, second striker, even number ten. Uh, he had an important role in in, uh, in our championship, uh, I, and I think I think he's, he's 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 one of the possibilities, and we will see what happens. Fantastic. That's a hint. That's a big hint from Kibo Vikuda. Next question on the screen we'd like to see from the fans. Next question. Ushnish Vaduri has a question. We saw that the goalkeepers performed pretty bad last season. So do you have any plans of signing experienced goalkeepers this season? As Blasters have already done a deal with Albino Gomes and Prab uh, I mean, that's a fantastic goalkeeper as well. He was with Big Lulu FC. He's a fantastic goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, uh, yes, uh, we have uh, we have uh, Albino and perhaps you can kill. No, we we have uh, faith of them, and also Bilal Khan is uh, is with us. Also, we, I think we have a very good three goalkeepers. Another goalkeeper from the academy is going to make the precision with us. So I think uh, we have uh, good uh, good players, good players in this position. Okay, next up on the screen, we'll be taking last five questions. Okay, Kotist has a question. Is the art of reading the game missing for the Indian players? What do you think? I think uh, Indian players, they, they have uh, most of them, the players that they are playing in the league and in ISL, they have the quality, the quality to 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 play football. They have uh, some of them the technical qualities. Some of them, they are really fast, endurance. And I think uh, the coaches, we can, uh, we should uh, help them in understanding the game. No, I mean the the tactical part of the game. But of course, they they are improving. They are uh, they are better. 
and uh, you have uh, very good, very good Indian players. I mean, in India, next you have very good players. Yes, next up on the screen, we'd like to see who's there. Okay, Gautam has a question. When players switching from I League to ISL, it seems to have some difficulty while playing. What might be the reason for that? To be honest, I don't. I don't know. It's depend. It's depend of the person. It's, 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 it's depending of the of the of the player. No. I also I also say the same. No. Uh, when uh, when you are uh, when you are a player, even when you are a coach, you try to to go to a team that suits you. Uh, I mean, if you are a good technical player, uh, or you are you are better. In the defensive, in the offensive phase and defensive, the defensive phase, you, you you have to try to to go to a to a to a team that is going to attack more than def than defend. The opposite, if you are better defending than than uh, than attacking. You, you try to to go to a team that is going to be more time defending than attacking. No, sometimes it happens also in, in Europe. No, that if you are not going to the to the to the you are not taking the, the a good choice. I mean, you are going to a good club, perhaps a very good club, but perhaps it's not the it's not a, the style that is is going to be better for you. To give you an example, for example, Joseba Betia is a player that he has to go to an offensive team because he's going to be he can he can play even he play in the past in a defensive team, but he's going to sign. In a team that is that uh, is going to have more the ball than in, than uh, than uh, in a team that is going to defend more than attack. Fantastic, fantastic answer. Next question up on the screen. Let's see who comes up. Next question on the screen. So many questions. I know it's difficult, but uh, let's see who gets uh, the nod actually. Muhammad Shamir has a question. Which player is uh, your choice in the striking position for the next season? He's talking about the Indian ones for sure. You have so many options. Uh, sorry, but I can't. I cannot answer the question. No, I have in my mind, <laughs> but I cannot. I cannot say anything. No, uh, it's not easy for me not to answer. But you cannot. You have to understand that I cannot say. I cannot say they are. Very good players. Some of them, we talk about them in the in this uh, in this uh, conversation that we have. So, but sorry, I cannot say anything. Next question up on the screen. Let's see who comes up. Hari Shankar has a question. Because of the current situation, what changes are you going to implement in pre-season trainings? I think you have already answered it. Yes, uh, I think it's going to be very important that in the last month, last uh, six weeks before the trainings, that the the players should uh, should train individually, really ha uh, strong in order to to be ready to the when the precision starts. You no, know? because imagine that we are starting in the middle of September. That means that they are going to be six months without training, with a tra in a training session. It's too much. It's half a year. Is a, a lot of time, so we have to be at the beginning of the precision. We have to be uh, have to start very carefully because because uh, it's going to be very difficult for them. Uh, perhaps we have to adapt the trainings. We have to start with more short trainings that than long trainings in order to avoid uh, injuries. You no. Know? Um, also, uh, we have to. The players should have take uh, take care of the weight, you no, know, and because it's going to be important to be to be fit at the beginning of the season, and then we will see also how many time how many time we have to prepare to prepare the to prepare the season. I mean, it's not the same if we have seven weeks than if we have eleven weeks, you no, know, to prepare because. Uh, it's also it's going to be very important also to play games in order to to prepare the team properly to the beginning of the competition. Last two questions. Second last question would be from me. Mohan Bagan has already joined the Hero ISL with the hands of ATK and they'll be playing with ATK Mohan Bagan. A new merger has happened in Indian football. What do you think about East Bengal? 
Do you want them to be there on uh, on, on the league as well? Because I mean, without East Bengal and Mohan Bagan, Indian football remains incomplete. I think that uh, both uh, both clubs are uh, very important in Indian football. No, I mean, uh, uh, I was in uh, Mohun Bagan, and I know uh, what is the, the what is the feeling uh, and what is the you know the the, the sport competition between Mohun Bagan and East Bengal. For me, for me, I think that in the future, I don't know if next season. But in the future, uh, they will they they should be together in the in the same competition because these uh, these uh, matches, these derbies between uh, Mohun Bagan and East Bengal is not only part of Indian football. It's uh, in all over the world. They know about about the derbies between between both teams. Uh, the, the the both teams in uh, in Kolkata no? are amazing. The the atmosphere in in uh, in uh, Salt Lake Stadium is is fantastic. Last question. Let's see who wins the lottery. I'm asking the final question. So, Oppu Chakravarti is the one. Oppu has, Oppu has a question, sir. One request from my side. If KBFC is winning title in this season, will you be again live on the days on Digital Ideas platform? <laughs> you will be again live on some days? Yes. <laughs> on this platform. <laughs> Okay, but I don't, I don't, I don't understand what he means. Uh, he means, I mean, titles. on this channel, will you be live again if you win the title? Yes, yes, of course, of course, of course. You know that oh, 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 I'm always available to uh, with you and with with all the journalists that they, they and also I I'm always available to talk with the supporters. No, I think I I, I told before that we are working for them. Uh, we are working for. For the supporters, for the club. Uh, um, for me, my 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 main objective this season is that um, that the supporters of uh, of Kerala Masters will be will be proud of their team this season. Is uh, of, of of his team the, the, the next season is is my main objective. Thank you so much, Kibu. All the viewers who have joined us. Thanks to all of you, Manjapura fans. You are absolutely brilliant. All the Indian football fans, East Bengal fans, Mohan Bagan fans who have joined us today. All thanks to them. Just do subscribe on the YouTube channel. Don't forget to push the notification bell. And of course, a heartiest greetings for the entire season to follow to Kibu Vikuna. You are amazing. All the best to you and your team. Thank you very much. Uh, a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye.